Hey everybody, um, back again. This is video two um, showing the Xbox One S back together with the upgraded fan. Um, it's an upgrade using an Xbox One uh, fan blade system, just the setup itself. The fan, the blades, um, not actually the housing. The housing's uh, specific for the Xbox One S. So what this does is it maintains the factory look um, and operation except now we have larger blades installed with a deeper pitch um, so you're moving more air through the complete rpm range um, and i can feel that it's actually considerably there's considerably more air coming out um, which is good for cooling um, also the clip there you can kind of see it uh, i'll try to zoom in a little better uh, kind of sucks but uh, everything went back together perfectly um, utilizing the new fan um, the only thing that was left out in the reinstallation was that spring it's kind of like a cone shaped spring um, what that's what that does is it's meant to uh, pull pressure down on the fan blade assembly um, in order to I'm, I'm assuming to kind of keep tension on that clip um, but the magnet assembly inside here is actually pulling on it already, which is creating that tension from the spring. So, um, if you if I could put a microphone up to this, you would actually hear that this thing is completely silent now. Um, I've heard other people using aftermarket fans, you know, twenty, thirty dollar fans, having to wire them in there, um, ruining the factory. Uh, the factory um, components themselves, you know, changing the uh, the way it was designed in general by Microsoft, um, and they're noisier, um, and a lot of times they actually produce less airflow. Um, there's been multiple reports on that. Um, so this is actually a really good upgrade. As I stated in, in video one, um, you should be able to find these fans <coughs> from an Xbox One relatively easy. On either Amazon um, or you know eBay for a couple bucks so they come apart identically which is nice so if you can take apart one the other one should be easy to take apart um, the only notable differences is again the magnets a little bit larger on the fan that I installed but it has in no way uh, affected the performance of this assembly as it's been reinstalled um, but again Solved a couple problems here with these systems, um, just with this cheap upgrade. One, it's silent now. There's no ticking noises, which everyone complains about. Um, sounds like there's something caught in the fan blade. That's completely gone now. Um, and now we're moving more air. So the system should A, run cooler, and B, be quieter. So if you don't mind taking your system apart, um, I mean, simple hand tools to get the fan apart. Literally use a really small screwdriver to pop the clip off. The fan then it comes apart um, if you can do that you can reassemble the system um, that's all it takes uh, it's, a, it's an additional maybe five minutes of time um, so i hope this video helps i know it didn't do a step-by-step because -step, um, i literally just thought about it <laughs> hey i wonder what happened if i put this fan blade system in my xbox one because i was trying to fix the noise in general and found that there was quite a few benefits um, other than just getting rid of the sound so, um, hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please leave me some comments. Thank you.